Beaten narrowly behind a resonator from a similar draw last time out. Light is on, we're ready to go. And they're racing. Samane left the gate really well from the wide draw. Landed about a half to three quarters. And Ellen Mack is pushing through up underneath it. Followed then by 1A. On the inside of Ring of Rosa, Sweet Mercy going forward out deep. Masquerade just drifts back a bit. In advance of Fear Norton, Darylina Bell is the last one. Samantha's been able to clear the pack. She was in $1.65 with Tab, and now it's an easy lead for Samantha by two and a half and Dylan Max. Sweet Mercy got to third. And 1A's well back in uh, cattle class now. Midfield on the inside of Ring of Rosa. They're followed for the back then by uh, Mask around the outside of Fear Nort. Darylina Bell two lengths away last of all. So Samana a clear leader at the 750 by two and a half. Ellen Mack doing the chasing, followed then by Sweet Mercy on the outside of 1A improving. Two for the back to Ring of Rosa on the outside of Fear Nort. Now this mare masquerade's being desperately ridden coming around the turn and she's going nowhere at the moment. Samana full of running into the straight by two and a half on Ellen Mack. Fear Nort gets cracking on the outside, clear from Sweet Mercy. Then 1A on the rouse and a gap to the other trio. Samana's nicely clear at the furlong. Fear North goes to a clear second. Sweet Mercy's running to third, but Samana going great guns in the hands of Dylan Gibbons. And the short price favourite's going to lead all the way. Samana by two and a half to Fear North. A gap back to Sweet Mercy, third. Dylan Mack, fourth. Uh, nothing else made any headway at all. Darylina Bell, 1A. Uh, Masquerade was gone at the 600, and Ringer Rosa hasn't beaten one home. Well, that was easy money on the short favourite, Samana. Number one, Kira Ma, David Eustace with the first two winners of the day. And Dylan Gibbons, an early result for Dylan getting the weight down to 56 and a half. He was able to clear them rather comfortably. And the filly did the rest. She's by winning Rupert at a festivity. And that's her fifth win now from 11.50.